publisher. Another rejection? I have no idea. I do not read your letters. But they keep arriving and I keep bringing them to you. And I keep hoping. We all keep hoping for your success, Miss Marge. The entire boarding house keeps hoping. You have us all on edge. My dear Miss Marge, I read your story. Well, he's read it. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I found your tale tasteless and vulgar, not at all suitable for my readers. My, my advice to you. My advice to you is to return home and have babies. <laughs> this is what women are made for. Sincerely, <laughs> F. Putman. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Twenty-two rejections since I've been in New York, and they all say <coughs> the same thing. Go home and give up. F. Putnam is an idiot. His words are stupid. F. Putnam is one of the most powerful publishers in the city. You cannot lose faith, Miss March. There will be somebody who will like your story. I am certain of it. Oh. Would it be all right if I read my story to you? I would still respect your opinion. <coughs> yes, of course. Actually, it's one of my best. It's a mean and stormy night. The moors are bleak and bloody. Thunder claps, lightning strikes. The very river is up, the river blows in this array, racing across the wild coastal heath. Now she stomps. <laughs>